Hello, everybody. I'm going to hook in. Good afternoon or morning or wherever you are. I'm just going to get myself set up. We have a minute or so. So hi, if you're joining me now, you can um, find any props that you have. You can even use whatever's in your house. You can get a thick book or a belt or a towel or any blankets um, that you might want to use for props um, or to help support you in your postures. Uh, you can have a chair if you want to be on the chair and um, yeah, just make sure it's not on a non-skid area. And we'll begin in about a minute. But you can find yourself settling in, just kind of sit for a moment and begin to breathe, letting yourself kind of prepare for your practice. Okay. So my name's Annette. And I am, this is um, uh, flow with props. So basically you can adapt to anything you need. You can be in a chair, you can be on the mat without the chair, you could be standing near a wall, um, whatever it is that you prefer. And grab any props that you want to help support you and I will do the same. So let's begin by finding a comfortable seated position. If you're on the floor, sitting maybe on the edge of a pillow or a blanket, otherwise you're coming to the edge of your chair so that you can relax your belly and sit up nice and tall. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes or have a soft gaze and let yourself just begin to listen to your breath and settle into your room, our virtual room as well, preparing for our yoga practice. And allow yourself to slowly lengthen your breath as you inhale and exhale, just a little bit deeper, but in a comfortable way. You wanna breathe with ease, move in the world with ease. So we need to find that sometimes fine line where challenge becomes suffering. We want to back off a little bit. We do not need to suffer. And gently opening your eyes, coming onto your hands and knees if you're on the floor, at the wall, putting your hands uh, against the wall. Feet are hip width apart for your cat cow. Begin by lifting your tailbone, then the front body. Drop your shoulders down. Exhale, tucking the tailbone, rounding out the spine. Pulling the belly button in. And coming back again, inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Just warming up the spine and the whole body. Allow yourself to check in and see how you're feeling in your spine today, as well as your shoulders and head and neck and hips.
Let's do three more. Following your breath. And the last one, lifting up, arching, exhale, rounding out. Coming back to center. If you're on the floor, you can bring your hands a little bit further in front of you and your knees a little bit further back. And the reason is we're gonna put the weight on the upper body a little bit more. So putting your hands onto your thighs as well, or if you're doing it on the wall, you could do this too. You're leaning forward, using the strength of your upper body and your arms to help you, strong core, and then round out and pull back. So inhale and exhale. I'm gonna show what it looks like on the floor. So you'd have your hands in front, you're leaning forward and then bringing it back. Strong upper body. Let's do two more. Coming back to center, taking your right arm out or left arm out. I'm going to do the exact arm that you're doing. It's always confusing with Facebook. So take your left arm out, reach all the way up and exhale it out. And then let's reach across. Go ahead and cradle that arm, reaching as far as you can to the other side and breathe. Reaching the arm all the way up again. Exhale it down. We're going to do that again, reaching all the way up. Down, halfway, and across the body. Breathe. Bringing the arm back out. Up. Come on back down and across the body again. We're going to end this side by reaching all the way out and exhaling, letting the arm come straight down. So let's do the right side, reaching all the way up. Inhale, exhale halfway down and reach across. Cradle the arm. Try to relax the shoulder blade down. Coming back out, reaching all the way up. Inhale, exhale, come on down and across the body. And again, inhale, reaching, exhale, come on down and cross the body. Going to finish this by bringing the arm out. Inhale, exhale, bring the arm down to the side. Just let your arm shake out a little bit, bringing them down. If you're on the floor, you can always kneel, you can sit, you can stand, you can be in a chair. All this can do that. You can always modify for yourself. Let's reach our palms up, bringing them up all the way to the sky, parallel. Inhale. Exhale, come on back down halfway, dropping your shoulders. So instead of having them come up towards the ears. Now they're coming up towards the ears as you reach up, inhale, exhale, letting them drop. Let's do that three more times. Inhale and exhale. And again. And exhale. Reaching one more time all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale all of it out, bringing the arms all the way down, letting your arms just hang to the side. Taking your block or a book if you want to, you can always use note props as well. But these blocks sometimes help you 
since they go in different directions, to keep shoulder height and shoulder width, right? So you can do but definitely shoulder width. It's just same thing with here with your hip width, it helps. So we're gonna hold the block in front and lift up, keeping our hands parallel like we were, arms. Exhale, keeping the elbows in, bring your block behind you. Inhale, lift, and exhale, come on halfway down. So you can feel gravity pulling you, working your muscles a little bit more. Inhale, lift, exhale, behind you. Inhale, and exhale halfway. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, one more time, reaching all the way up, exhale, inhale up, bringing the block all the way down, exhaling it out. Go ahead and put the block down, put your hands onto your shoulders, so you can, we can stretch out a little bit more of the shoulders, but also our rotator cuff, bringing the elbows forward, up back and down. The circles don't have to be big, whatever feels okay for your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna switch and go the other way. So inhale, back and up, exhale, forward and down. Good. All right, let's do some more with the upper body using your strap. Now you can use a belt, you can use a towel, and you can use no, no props as well. If you want a little more resistance, you're gonna be pulling on the strap or on the towel or the belt, okay? But if you're not using anything, you can always use your own muscle strength resistance as well. So we're going to pull the strap away from away, nice and taut, and lift up. Keep pulling, exhale, bring it down. Drop your shoulders. So they're coming up, shoulder blades are up, and shoulder blades are down. Let's do that one more time right here and with the strap right here, and then we're going to bring our hands a little wider wider than our shoulders. Go ahead and pull if you want more resistance. If it's too much, you don't have to do that. So lift up, bend the elbows and bring the sho shoulders back so you can bring that strap or towel behind you. Inhale, lift, exhale, come on halfway down. So again, pulling taut, Inhale, exhale, bringing the shoulders back. Inhale up and exhale halfway. Let's do that two more times after this one. Okay, so inhale, exhale. Inhale up and exhale forward. One more. And release the arms all the way down. Exhale it out. Let the strap go. Open and shut your hands. Rotate your wrists. Go the opposite way. All right. So now we're going to lift up without the prop. If you want to use the strap or you want to, yeah, if you want to use the strap, that's fine. I'm going to do it without for right now to see, just to show you too. So we're going to bring the arms up 
bring one down. Let's take the right arm down, the left one up. So we're doing pulling, reaching up and pulling down, opposite way. Switching sides. And sides. Now if you were using the strap and you wanted to use the strap, you would have it pretty wide and doing it here. So you're pulling down, pulling the strap down, and pulling the strap up on the opposite. I think this would be a, a longer towel if you were using a towel. Let's try it one more time on each side. Bringing the strap down for a moment, I'm going, we're going to take, again, shoulder height, shoulder width. And bring one up and bring the other one down. So we're going like this, as though you're driving almost, right? But your elbows are, are straight, your arms are straight. Then start to bring it a little bit wider. You're keeping in the center of your body, and we're crossing over the center line as we come back up and around. So we're going to cross over. So as we come up, we reach the opposite way. Come to center and back up to the center, and then over, crossing over the midline. Now, if you're wanting more of a challenge, bring the, the bottom part of the strap. Instead of reaching just the top, reach the top over and bring the bottom further over to the other side. So you're centered and then anywhere in between from here all the way and you can reach the bottom one too. Let's try that two more times on each side. And one more time. So you'll notice your shoulder blade on the top is coming up, the other one's going down, working across the midline. So front, front, right brain to left side of the body, left side of the brain to the right side of the body. Go ahead and sit for a moment. Give yourself mountain pose to breathe, check in, see how you're feeling. We're going to cross at the ankles or up onto a block or a book like this. You can do either or up onto the thigh. Hang out here for a moment. Make sure if you're on the floor and you want to be on your back, that's fine. You may keep your knees coming towards your chest. You may just have your knees bent and crossing over. Go ahead and fold forward, breathe, and reach out. Strong core muscles. If you're on your back, you're still pulling in your belly button towards the spine to support the knees coming towards your chest. Reaching up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, just bring your arms all the way down to your side. And uncross. Crossing at the ankles or onto the block or up onto the thigh. Hang out here for a moment, just relax your shoulders down, folding forward or bringing your knees towards your chest if you're on your back. You can reach out. Find your breath during a challenge, so always going back to the breath. Reaching up to the sky, lift up, inhale. 
exhale it out we're going to come to standing you may stay on the chair if you um, on the chair if you want to so leaning forward make sure you are strong in the legs to stand finding stability always first I'm going to use the seat of the chair you may always use the back if you want to or a wall and I'm going to use a block as well you can use a book so I'm going to show you with that so keeping the block here if you are in a chair you want to do your warrior two is like this bringing a leg to the side okay take your right foot back and bring yourself to a warrior two turning that back leg bring the leg down keeping the knee over the ankle if it goes further you probably can go wider you can use a chair but if you want to go a little bit further down, take your block on the outside of your left uh, ankle or left foot. And as you come down here, reach down towards the block or to the chair and reach up. Not looking at the camera, so I'm, <laughs> I feel like I can't see you, but. The other thing is if you're not using the chair, you can keep the foot here too and reach. Use the strength of your legs and your abdominal muscles. Come on up and back to mountain pose. We're going to do that again with a straight leg. If you prefer to have the, uh, a bent leg, that's okay. So you're bringing the right foot back again lengthen the leg let the hip go let it hinge so you can reach as far as you can put your hand on the chair or onto the block you can always put it on your leg as well and reach using your leg muscles and your abdominal muscles come on up exhale back to mountain pose sitting or standing nice and tall and strong we're going to switch sides taking the left leg back and i'm putting my block down on the outside of my right foot turning my foot and if you're in the chair you're going to go to the other side bring your knee down or your hips down to bend that knee and pull forward either putting the right hand on the chair or onto the block and reach you can always have it on a wall as well if you want to be up higher coming back up exhale back to mountain pose and again we're going to take that left leg back and do this again but with a straight leg for our triangle if it's uncomfortable again you keep your knee bent let your hip hinge that's most important because if we reach and just fold we're not going to go be able to reach for the block or the chair you need to let your hip go keep reaching and then you can come down and then you reach up let the arm be just the, that goes up to the sky the last thing Coming back up, inhale, exhale, back to mountain pose. Using a wall or a chair, we're going to go into our downward dog if you're seated. Your downward dog can be pushing on the wall or a couch or a chair or a table. Or if there's nothing in front of you, make sure your strong core muscles anyway and reach taking your legs back for your downward dog holding on to the chair or if you're on the floor you can be on the floor as well so wherever you are it's all good 
feet are hip width apart, maybe even wider. Strong core muscles. So you're pulling in because you're going to have a neutral spine feeling the back of those legs. We're going to rock forward all the way up to a cobra. So we're going to rock forward, drop the hips, bring your chest forward, and drop your shoulder blades. Coming back into a downward dog again. If you're on the floor, keep going if you're doing that. If you're on the chair, you're going to lift your front body, drop your shoulder blades. Moving then back into your downward dog and back into your cobra. If you are in, on the floor, you're going to do exactly what this is with the chair, too, where you're, full, you're rocking forward, drop your shoulder blades, lift your chest, drop the hips, but don't, don't collapse them, but drop them, nice, strong upper body. Go back into your downward dog. And one more time, rocking forward into your cobra. And back into downward dog. Taking your right foot forward, and you can go into your warrior one in a chair on the putting your foot back instead of forward. We're going to stay here and push ourselves up into a warrior one. At any time, you can be holding on to a wall or the chair in front of you wherever you are. Bringing your hands back down to a downward dog. Taking the left leg forward or back if you're in the chair. Find your warrior one, it's nice and steady, so you can bring your arms up, bring the hips down. Coming back to the chair, bring your foot back for downward dog. Take a step forward and the other step forward and you're halfway. Cross your right leg over the left. If you're seated, you could do the same thing, crossing over or even at the wall. Make sure your feet are nice and grounded on the floor. So you may have to move your feet to get them on the flat on the floor. Keep folding forward and let your head relax down. So you can use a block too to keep you up higher or you can even put your forearms on the block and let your head relax down or putting your head on the block. Just notice what you're feeling in your legs and where you should be. Come on halfway. Uncross your legs so you can cross the other way. And notice the difference. I know I have a big difference on where my feet are placed depending on if I'm crossing over one leg or the other. So strong core muscles as you fold forward wherever you want to be. Wherever it is, breathe and check in and adjust accordingly. Come on back up halfway and uncross your legs. Put your hands on your thighs to sit or stand up. Go back to your mountain pose. Breathe and check in. Sometimes we're holding our breath, so notice that for yourself too if you're doing that. Let's take your hands to your sternum, reaching overhead, touch your hands. Exhale back to your center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, center. And again. It's 
stay right here. We're going to reach up, overhead, keeping our hands touching. Open up, bring out your arms, lift your heart to the sky, bring your shoulder blades back closer together. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale to your center. Let's do that three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Stay right here for a moment. Just breathe, ground yourself. Notice the strength and stability and balance. We're going to reach overhead, touch our hands so we can do our half moon. So reaching up overhead, touch your hands, cross your thumbs, whichever direction, doesn't matter, and reach to the left as you push your hips to the right. Inhale, lift, and exhale over the other side. You can cross your thumbs the other way if you want to, too. Inhale, lift. Reach as high as you can. Exhale it out. Back to your mountain pose. Taking your block if you or your book today, and if you don't have that, that's okay. You use the floor. We're going to step onto the block. You can always hold on to the chair or a wall as well. And if this doesn't feel stable, don't do that because you can always use the floor, okay? So step onto the block. Feel your toes. The left foot is still on the floor for a moment so that you can feel your, everything working up at the hips to support. Try not to lock your right knee. And when you're ready, lift that leg up off the floor for balance. Breathe. Now, if, depending on what kind of block your book you have, it's probably wiggly, cushy. Just keep breathing through that. Let go of judgment. Bring the foot down, taking a step off your block or book, and switching sides. Try not to lock the knee. When you step on the book, it's often a common thing to kind of lock it to see if you to get your balance. You can bring your foot up any way you want, just lifting it up. You can keep your foot on the toes on the floor too. Play with it. You could be back and forth. It doesn't matter. I want you to feel the strength of that leg holding and the balance. The shakiness is okay. Breathe. Find something in front of you that's not moving so you can focus on it. Notice what's happened, what happens when you focus on your breathing. Come on down. Take the block away. Find your mountain pose for a moment and put one foot in front of the other on the floor. So toe heel. Now, if you want to try it where it's more a little bit further away from the toe and heel, that's okay too to start out that way and see how it feels. You want to find some stability. Hold on to a wall or a chair. You can rock a little bit. But if I look down, I'm going to fall that way. So look where you want your body to go, which is I want to be upright. I want to look in front of me, something in front of me to help me balance, keep my ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Ankles will wiggle. It's all good. And then come back to mountain pose so you can switch sides. Ask yourself if one side feels more smoothly than the other, if you can feel balancing differently. Maybe. I think it depends, right? 
depends on the day, <laughs> the moment. But keep breathing, focus on your breathing. And notice what happens when you bring your focus to your breath. Come back to mountain pose, stand for a moment, close your eyes or have a soft gaze and ask yourself how you're feeling. Just keep breathing, scan the body, scan the mind. We're going to do another thing to work with focusing today and balance. So crossing one leg over the other and you can always be behind the chair and hold on or, or the wall. Bring your arms out in front of you and cross one, uh, the wrist over the other. Doesn't matter which direction. Thumbs are up. Thumbs go to the side. Thumbs are down. Try to relax your shoulder blades and give yourself a massage in your hands. So grab your hands. You can feel your wrists moving too because they're twisting. And then bring your hands down and around to your heart. Now I'm not going to push my hands against at my heart because of the mic, but if you try it, see bringing it close to your heart, looking in front of you, find your balance and breathe. If you want more, you can bring your wrists a little forward and see how that feels. Then take a nice inhale, exhale, bringing your arms all the way out. Let go of the arms and uncross the legs. We're going to cross the other way. Now you'll notice that sometimes you want to squeeze at the legs or in some balance we may want to keep our feet further away. So find what works for you today. Bring your arms out and cross the opposite way, whichever one you didn't do. Thumbs up, side, down. And give yourself a massage on your hands and your fingers. Relax your shoulders. Bring your hands down and around to your heart. If you want the wrists. Find your grounding, centering, focus. Bring your arms back out, inhale. Exhale, letting go and uncrossing the legs. We're going to do a chair pose. Now, I'm going to just use the block today since this is flow with blocks. So take your block and put it at the thighs, bringing your feet. Now, the outside of your feet are still parallel to each other. Have everything lined up. We're going to sit back in the chair keeping to keep the knees forward strong core muscles. If you are seated, same thing. Block is here and sit forward, engage your core muscles and then you're going to squeeze to sit back up. Sitting back on your heels, maybe even lift your toes up, try it. And then squeeze that block to stand. Again, sitting back, let's do this three more times. Squeeze the block. Maybe even trying to sit further back each time. Last one, sit all the way back on those heels and squeeze the block. Good, take the block from up there. I'm going to come back to the chair. Feel free to squat down to the floor if you prefer or going to a couch or your bed. You want to find we're going to have a comfortable seated position. If you prefer to be laying down, that's okay. Try to have your head above your heart. So use like a pillow or blankets or something so that you are propped up and comfortable. 
I'm going to use my block for my feet. So I scooch, I'm scooch all the way back in the chair. My feet aren't really stable on the floor anymore. So I'm using the block to put my feet on. You can do it on pillow or blankets or anything. So find a comfortable position, close your eyes or have a soft gaze. Check in and notice where you might be holding tension in your body as well as in your mind. Scan the body first. Go from your toes all the way up and notice sometimes we hold the tension in our shoulders or our belly, the neck, wherever. And we're going to focus on those areas first and breathe in and exhale it out, focusing on letting go of the tension. So let's tighten up whatever area it is on your body right now that you feel the tension. I want you to tighten it up. Put your focus towards there. Take a nice inhale. Exhale it out. We're going to do a double breath out. So you're going to tighten up. You can even tighten up your whole body if you want to. Right? If it's the whole body, just tighten the whole body up. And then we're going to exhale it out, double breath. <sighs> Let's do that again. Tighten up. Nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, double breath out. <sighs> One more time. Tighten. <sighs> now walk. Take a look inside in your mind and notice if there's tension or some ruminating thoughts. And let's see to work on taking, letting go of some of that tension. So we're going to inhale, double breath out. Two more times. And again. Go ahead and take a minute to sit quietly, breathing naturally, letting every exhale maybe relax the body a little deeper. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. And very gently look over your right shoulder and then your left, just moving the neck a little bit. And then we're going to look up and down. Just one more time. Keeping your eyes closed or having a soft gaze, giving yourself the time to be in that quiet space. To stack one hand on top of the other at your heart. And find one thing or one person for which you feel grateful. And imagine using your own energy, bringing that energy to that person or that item of gratitude. And now take something about yourself, something unique and wonderful. I know there's many things. Pick one. Just pick one and focus on it. And give yourself the acknowledgement of that special quality that you have and bring your energy your own energy into that into your heart and acknowledge it i wish you much peace and health 
And I will be teaching again on Wednesday at 3, Flow with Props. And feel free to ask any questions. Um, I often have to get off of Facebook Live right away, but I go back and I look. So if you have questions or comments, I'd love to know where you're located, what your status is, um, what you liked about the class, what you didn't like about the class. It's all good. I'm open. So wishing you much peace and health. Stay connected. Namaste. Hi, Delphine and Doug. Thank you for being here.